Human beings first saw how beautiful the Earth looks from outer space in 1968, when the astronaut William Anders took a photograph during the Apollo 8 mission. The picture became known as Earthrise. What resonated with people then, more than 50 years ago, was not only the fact that our world is beautiful, but that it is small and fragile, a delicate sphere in a mysterious universe. Not limitless, not indestructible, but finite and vulnerable. This created something called the overview effect, in which people respond with visceral intensity to the sight of the Earth from outer space and are desperate to protect it. And yet, we don't need to go anywhere to know how extraordinary our planet is. A housefly, a spider plant, the structure of our own bodies, all these things are ordinary marvels. But do we notice them or do we take them for granted? The first lockdown in the COVID pandemic meant that millions of us suddenly confined to our own homes took new pleasures in the natural world, found reassurance and comfort in it. Social media was flooded with images of flowers, gardens, homegrown vegetables and city parks, as well as photographs of country walks. Here was our own wonderland, the space we live in. We paid attention to it. But although nature can revive and nurture us, it isn't invincible. Writers can help us notice not only what is precious and astonishing, but also what is threatened, what is changing before our eyes. Poets and fiction writers fix on certain images and details, capturing them, celebrating them. And while non-fiction books can inform us about the natural world in all its variety and complexity, it can also do a similar thing, reminding us of what is there, right in front of us, help us see things freshly. Kathleen Jamie, a poet, is one such writer of non-fiction, and she has written a series of books which describe the natural world in precise and vivid detail. Findings is the first of these books. Jamie talks about her travels around Scotland, sailing between islands and observing the people, birds and animals that live there. One of the findings of the book is that people and nature are umbilically connected. Obvious? Not in the modern world, in which so many of us live urban lives and have come to see nature as something of an optional extra. She picks up a gannet skull on a beach, chases dolphins, looks at weathercocks in Edinburgh, then stands by the bedside of her husband, not sure if he will live or die. Encompassing the everyday and the cataclysmic, cities in the wild, order and chaos, this short book is epic in its way and poignantly evokes where we are now through the eyes of one observant, sensitive, engaged person. Nature is not prettily evoked, nor are old-fashioned traditional aspects of our world given precedence over what is new or conventionally ugly. It is a book full of the love of the natural world and where we are in it, the human interaction. In noticing her own life, Jamie can help us notice our own.